This is Fritzing Curtis with your host, Stefan Hermann. <laughs> yeah, welcome to our first episode of Fritzing Killer Tips. Uh, inspired by the Photoshop killer tips from Matt Klostowski. Here I want to show you how to use fritzing and I'm very happy that you're watching this podcast. Today's topic is the generic IC. So we are asked uh, for more IC parts. Unfortunately, we can't provide all of them because there are millions out there. Um, but that you can use them anyway, we provide a generic IC part. And I want to show you how you can use it. You will find the generic IC part in the parts library. It's here and you can adjust the properties. So let's say it is a THT part. What would mean that it has to be mounted through holes on the PCB. Um, I can change the label to let's say uh, XYZ123MK2 and I can say how much pins should it have and I can even adjust the spacing. So here I have it and now I can work as usual with it. Or let's take another one and try an SMD part. Um, therefore we provide here this footprints for a lot of SMD parts like the QFN32. What is a square IC? And we made this breakout boards that you can work with them on a breadboard as you are working with other parts. Okay, let's snap them in. And you can, of course, go to the schematic view and work here with them. Go to the PCB view and work here. So the SMD parts are always placed on top of the SMDs. And yeah, let now let's make some connections. Maybe from here to there. If you hold down the shift key, then you can make this rectangular traces. Let's make another one here. Yeah, so it's quite easy to work with it. And yeah, that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you next time. Mm -hmm.